Hey YouTubers, um, this is a departure from my normal videos, but I just picked up a new Sony 4K cam, um, and my old Sony HD cam with an internal hard drive is uh, starting to act up a bit, so I thought it was time to replace it or we can run two different cameras. Now, I figured I could use my old battery packs from my old camera. Here, let's see here. We've got some old batteries. And this one was a, put it down as a 12 hour battery. It's not a 12 hour battery, but they're, uh, let's see if we can see it here. MP FH70. Okay, well the 70 doesn't really matter, that's your storage capacity. But this one, NPFH. And then the new ones for the 4K cam, well the one that came with it here, is an NPFV. Now, I figured, well, I've got all these camera, or these batteries, if I'm out in the field, I think I've got four actual batteries for this thing. The other one I've already put in here. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. So, I figured I could use the same batteries and life would be good. Um, I wouldn't be, you know, struggling when I run out of batteries. I can just borrow from the other camera. Well, they're both 6.8 volts. 6.8 volts, 6.8 volts. Just having trouble with this GoPro here. It's not wanting to focus in on things. So what I noticed with the the battery was right here in the middle. These little tangs on the new style battery are smaller than these tangs on the old batteries, which are still good. And let's see if we can see it down in there. There's a little step down in there, and that stops it from sliding into the new camera. I tried the new battery from the 4K camera, and it fits awesome and runs good in my old HD camera. And I'm like, well, why can't it work both directions? The difference right here. Otherwise everything else looks pretty much the same. The connectors are the same, the back's the same, just right there. This bad boy, I'll show you on the battery that I've already done, I came in and just really slowly dremeled along here. And both sides. So the old Sony battery won't go in no matter how much you fight with it. The one that I just modified now slips in and ejects nicely. It's beautiful. And it's still usable on my old camera. You open up the door, it fires up, so I've put this in, I've tried it out, it'll record, um, it doesn't say the battery's not compatible, and I don't see any way to lose other than if it burns up my new thousand dollar camera. Excuse the coffee slurping. So, we'll just modify up a couple more here. And I'll do a little uh, grinding here for you to see. I'll just put these out of the way so they're safe. Don't wanna. Yes, that's an old ammo box. Okay, we'll put those out of the way and battery pack. That one needs modifying. That one needs modifying. And this one I've already done. So this was the original that came with my HD camera. So we'll put that up there. So, 
let's see if I can set this up. Put my coffee down out of the way. Yeah, this ain't gonna be easy. So I'll just go in here. I'm not running this thing at high speed, there's no need to. And on the other side. So what I do is, instead of using sandpaper or a file, I just go in there and rub off the burrs. I think I probably have to remove a bit more, but... <clears throat> Let's give it a try. <laughs> awesome. We'll open it up, make sure it works. I don't see anything saying there's an error. Oh, it's saying the battery's low. So the uh, little chip is working properly. So I need to recharge that one. Okay. Let's do one more. angle here actually a lot easier to do when you're not trying to pose it for a little GoPro here that I'm filming with. Okay, we'll get rid of all the little burrs here. Now, if somebody knows of a reason why I shouldn't be doing this, if this battery is going to harm my camera, well, I guess that's the chance I'm taking, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to tell you it, it's not going to hurt your camera because I don't want to be liable for this not, uh, for messing up your new camera. Let's see if that works. Oh, wow. Slips right in there. Let's see. Mm, that battery's obviously dead. It needs a charging. I was having problems with one of these Sony batteries in the summertime when I was out videotaping. And uh, from what I've been told or seen on YouTube, is that you take these batteries and you put them in a cheapo wall mount charger instead of charging them in the camera and <clears throat> they will um, restore themselves if they're having charging problems so hopefully that's uh, the dealio I think it's probably this one it's one of my bigger ones so I wrote seven hours on here because I 
was looking at the back, I was like, oh, 7.2 uh, watt hours. Well, watt hours don't really translate into actual hours of recording time. So, it's a 12 hour one, not a 12 hour battery, but it is, you know, a, a good battery. And it's an actual Sony battery. And I've just started using this one I bought, uh, a Lexmar <coughs> Sony replacement battery. And uh, seems to work great. It was cheap. I can't remember what it was, like 30 bucks or something. So half the price of the Sony battery. And now I've got another battery that just came with my new camera. So all in all, I'm set up pretty good for uh, taping this summer. Hope this all works out. And uh, hope uh, <laughs> I'm not misleading anybody on uh, this battery mod because it is going to save me a lot of hassle if it continues to work the way it seems to be. It's going to save me a lot of hassle with uh, grabbing the wrong battery and trying to put it in the wrong camera, you know, when you're on the fly doing videos or this camera has lots of juice left in it this camera runs out of battery now I can swap batteries so there we go